Welcome everyone to the webinar on this MicroFocus webinar on what the analysts say about archiving. My name is Q Mangus. I'll be uh, moderating this uh, session today and uh, looking through the questions and everything. So just a few things to get before we get started to remember. Um, this session is being recorded. So you, everyone on this call will receive a link to the recording once we've finished. Also, uh, since you've registered for this, everybody will get a copy of some of the analyst reports we have, like the, the Gartner one, the IDC. So look for an email with those as well. Also, uh, just so everyone is aware, um, if you have questions, we will have some time at the end for questions. I'll also be monitoring them throughout so I can answer them. But if you do have any, you'll see there in the GoToWebinar uh, UI, there's a little section for questions. If you uh, put those questions in, we will be answering them as, they, as we go along. So let me just... Uh, okay, so yeah, if you have questions, feel free to put those through in there. Um, we're really glad that you could join us today. We're really excited for this information that's being presented. Um, we're going to be talking about today about what the analysts say about archiving. We're joined from by Christina Wood. She will be taking us through this presentation and uh, giving us information about what the uh, what the analysts have been saying about archiving in general and about uh, retain uni unified archiving as well. So we'll go ahead and give the time to her. Um, Christina, go ahead and uh, take it away. Great. Thank you all for joining our call today. Um, basically, what we're going to do is go through several different items uh, with regards to talking about the archiving market and the archiving marketplace and what the current uh, information is that's out there about the archiving market, what's driving people to actually go to archiving and utilize archiving within their organization. And then from there, we're going to talk about some of the awards and some of the things that the analysts are saying about Retain Unified Archiving, and then just do a recap really quickly on, um, on Retain. Um, so uh, basically, let's go ahead and start with um, the overall archiving market. Uh, based on markets and markets, they've done a research survey that goes and takes us through 2020. And uh, the archiving market is an incredible market that is growing very rapidly. In some cases, it's growing at over 13%, especially in the mobile communication space, mainly because mobile archiving is truly one of the largest um, developers right now of, of having all types of information coming in and out of your organization. and and has to be monitored, of course, according to, uh, of course, our federal rules of civil procedure. Um, basically, if you can see on this slide, the archiving market is growing at a rate of 8.5%, and ultimately by 2020, it should be a market of 4.061 billion. That's billion, not million. So it is a market that is growing rapidly, and it is something that organizations are finding to be extremely, um, something that they need to participate in and have within their organization. Specifically, on-premise archiving is growing at a rate of 9% and cloud archiving is growing at a rate of 14.4% and ultimately the total growth uh, year over year is right now sitting at about almost 12%. So it is growing rather rapidly, especially compared to most other um, markets out there. I want to point out what the major organizations are that are really truly focusing in on archiving uh, and that would be education government and defense, BFSI is basically financial services, and then of, co of course consumer goods and then life sciences. Uh, what's really important to note here is that those are the five core up at the main uh, types of organizations and industries that are truly growing rapidly and needing and seeing the need for archiving solution. Of course that's mainly because they are all highly regulated industries and so as you can see in looking at the numbers, the top four are our most highly regulated industries of education, government, healthcare, and financial services, with healthcare being the number one uh, seeker of, of having an archiving solution. With that said, one thing that's really important to note is that Retain uh, and, and our unified archiving solution is a product that has always focused in on education, government, healthcare, and financial services for more than 15 years. So they are our core business. We know how they are. We, they know what they, we know what they need, and we meet their needs with our archiving solution. And some of those things are going to be called out later on today in much of the um, stats that we're going to talk about. So basically, what, what is this all about? This is all about the archiving market and all about statistics that we've talked about a little bit here. But now let's talk about, you know, where is the market? Where does it sit? 
And basically what the analysts have done is they have gone and analyzed this market and looked at what are the key drivers, what are the key things that, that organizations need, and then what are the regulations that they're trying to meet. And then how do organizations that have archiving solutions providing to their customers, what are, what are they focused on and how can they benefit um, the global economy as a whole? So as we look at this right now, currently, if we look at the market, um, the legacy archiving solutions that are called out by the analysts are Veritas, Enterprise Vault, and Barracuda, um, along with several others um, that are listed in this quadrant right here. But right now, who's driving the market is MicroFocus Retain, Microsoft, and Mindcast. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the, AI, the Enterprise Information Archiving Market Maturity has been since over basically starting in 2005, um, and it's continued to grow at a 12% year-over-year rate. So those growth rates I just showed you a few minutes ago is consistent with how things have been growing consistently since 2005. So organizations continue to see the real true need of why we need to be upon, why we need to be utilizing an archiving solution. So let's talk about what the individual um, archiving, or excuse me, what the individual analysts are saying about archiving and what they see future-wise. So Radicati um, on the information archiving market considers that uh, typically in the past, uh, just a few types of different organizations would utilize a typical deployment for archiving. But now many of the reasons that they're finding is because of compliance, regulatory requirements, litigation support, in, and also supporting internal corporate policies and being able to leverage information through content analytics, data, and, and ultimately information governance. Um, basically, what also Radicati is seeing is that as we looked at the previous numbers, most organizations are looking for a cloud solution rather than an on-premise. So we, we are seeing the same thing that Radicati is, and, and many of the other analysts are seeing the same thing, that cloud deployments are the main ones that are being deployed currently, and that market seems to be growing at the higher rate. So in the case of Radicati, um, Radicati named Retain a trailblazer. And as you can see in this quadrant, we are slowly moving up to the top. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, we are considered to be a trailblazer. So a, a trailblazer is an organization that continues to um, work and move their software into a place that is meeting the market needs at a rapid rate. And so um, that basically defines how we are when it comes to Radicati. Also, here are some of the strengths that have been called out by Radicati specific to Retain. Um, basically, that we support a broad range of messaging platforms. We provide features such as e-discovery. Um, one of the things that is important here is that we do provide the e-discovery tools um, across multiple data sources, whether they're inside the archive or not, meaning we bring them in from all different data sources. Uh, also, Retain's administrative and compliance interface is easy to use for administrators, human resources, legal, auditors, and compliance personnel. Uh, Retain archives iOS messaging without the need for tethering or syncing a device, and also Retain Social allows for organizations to monitor and archive social media. This allows organizations to permit social media while maintaining oversight and auditing. So what this is basically saying is, in a nutshell, this is all, again, what Radicati has found about our solution. Um, so very helpful tools. Uh, in the case of Gartner, um, Gartner has called us out uh, quite a few times. Uh, we have been in the we have been in the magic quadrant for quite some time. Um, we were one of the only few remaining um, organizations that have been actually consistently in the magic quadrant since around 2005. So um, basically, uh, starting with what Gartner's statement is as far as what they believe. These are the three main three main ideas of what is um, specific to the enterprise information market. So in this particular case, organizations of all size in their industries are starting to retain and manage email and other unstructured data from compliance, risk, governance, and cost optimization. Again, this is Gartner's definition of the information archiving market. Also, Gartner calls out that data sovereignty concerns is a major issue uh, that organizations are looking to, and also majority organizations are selecting software as a service. Um, so again, cloud, 
um, and new updated messaging platforms and implementations like Office 365 to bring into um, bring archiving solutions into their solution, including the Office 365 environment. But ultimately, they're doing this as key drivers to reduce on-premise infrastructure and reduce costs. So um, this basically shows you a graph of the current uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant. As you can see, MicroFocus Guava uh, Retain was basically placed as the only challenger in the Magic Quadrant. So this is a really important thing to note, uh, simply because many of the competitors have moved down below the line uh, and moved into the niche player or visionary segment, whereas we continue to move up consistently year over year and to the right, which is very helpful. Um, to understand. So let's talk about what that means. So as I just said, Retain was the only challenger in the 2016 um, Magic Quadrant. The next Magic Quadrant for 2017 will be coming out very soon. Um, these are some of the things that Retain has been noted for within the information archiving segment for Gartner. Uh, so these are the direct quotes again from Gartner stating about our product line that we have a wide array of social media content and mobile communication data for archiving. Um, we are specific for highly rated for litigation support tools. Um, our cloud brings new options, especially for data sovereignty within nations uh, outside of the US, which is very important because most other organizations do not provide the, the, the same type of cloud opportunities as we do outside of the US. Uh, customers repeatedly mention their happiness with our product, stri product structure, pricing structure, and overall sales and support experience. Um, also, we can ingest any type of messaging data, um, which is a key piece because no matter what type of messaging data you're trying to bring into your archive, we have the ability to do that. Also, a big thing is we do provide easy search and e-discovery tools within Retain that searches across multiple data sources as well. So moving on to where we are as far as Infotech. Um, Infotech, again, is another research firm. Um, and what they say about the current archiving market is that in the current archiving market, it's no longer just about email. Um, this market is changing rapidly. And of course, it's ingesting and needing to ingest instant message, email, social, mobile, all forms of electronic communication. In the case of Infotech, they also say that cost is a real differentiator. Um, this is something that they need to that, that they see that their customers are looking for, that um, archiving ends up helping benefiting their customers rather than not. Um, the identification of archives is indicators of social networks as well. Vendors are realizing that there's a very real potential for email as a value add, um, but also knowledge management for collaboration. Um, so let's take a look at what uh, Infotech has currently as far as their vendor landscape. Um, here you can see our vendor landscape uh, that Infotech has presented and uh, Guava, which is our former company name, um, has been positioned as in the leading quadrant as quote champion, um, along with just a few other companies. And so what, let's go into a little bit of detail of what that actually means. Uh, basically, Infotech, rate, Infotech rated retain as 100% uh, basically, as all other companies are going to be compared to our product set and our feature set. So our awards that we won from Infotech as a result of the vendor landscape that they did on us um, is that we were awarded best overall value in addition to champion. Um, so basically, our value score helped them gauge all other competitors against ours. So this is a full report, again, that we can make available to you, but um, very, very helpful. So um, according to Infotech, retain strengths are um, basically, we have a wide set of tools that protect information as well as extending discovery to social media and mobile devices. Also, um, we have been considered to be the best overall value for highly regulated industries and the best practices for information in financial and healthcare. Also, we provide a wide variety of mobile and ECM relationships, which extend our core offering past you know, just our typical product. So next we have Markets and Markets, which is another segment, um, another analyst firm. Um, in Markets and Markets, we have been named as a key innovator. So in this particular case, what that means is that um, 
they are looking up to us as one of the in, in most innovative companies who are helping to change and make become a challenger against the bigger legacy archives such as Google Vault. Next is IDC. Um, IDC is ranking us also, um, and their what their ideas of us is that Retain is one of the few archiving solutions that includes robust set of e-discovery tools with no additional cost. Also, IDC states that with multiple cloud deployment models that we have, Retain can cater to users in complex hybrid cloud environments and meet a wide range of archiving needs across different platform and content types. So let's talk a little bit about the product itself. Um, Retain Unified Archiving really, really offers three major unique feature sets. One is multi-platform mixed environment messaging um, and unified archiving. Let me talk about what actually that means. And that is that uh, it means that we have a multi-platform environment. So we can support Exchange, GroupWise, Office 365, um, and multiple, op multiple email sets or email platforms at the same exact time. Many organizations will require you to have different archives for each of those deployments, but in our case, we bring it all into one. So when you search, you can search across all different archives, no matter what your mes messaging platform is. Also, we have a mixed environment, which means that we provide email, mobile, social, in addition to, um, again, whatever platform you're running, as far as email, platform, we bring all of that together so that you can search across all of that archive. Um, we show a little picture of it here, but um, for more information, we can actually give you additional information on Retain um, and how those archives work together, but that kind of gives it, uh, it in a nutshell. Also, we offer three options for cloud, for public or private. This is pretty significant in the sense that, as I mentioned before, um, this is where we offer an opportunity to organizations who are outside of the US to protect their data sovereignty so that if they need to archive their information in country, they can. Um, again, this has been an issue since 9-11 and uh, some of the Patriot Act and, and others. So we offer multiple options for organizations, whether they want to have private cloud or public cloud. And that extends an offering to you so that you can decide which option you need that truly meets your needs for your organization. Also, we offer basically four different forms of archive access. We have the web interface, our email plugin, um, our mobile app, our offline viewer, or standalone archive viewer. And so with this, I just wanna take a moment to just kind of go into what that means. In the case of the web interface, um, this means that you can access our, our you can access the archive from anywhere, but it looks like an email client. That's the best part of it. It really is based on an email look and feel, so you can go and look at it, um, and then access it. So anyone can access it on a very easy basis. From there, you also have um, the mobile app where users can access their archive from anywhere and um, look at their look at their archive pull an email back, forward an email, print an email, and so on. Um, also, we have an offline viewer, which means that um, if you are offline, you can still go ahead and view your archive. We also have a standalone archive viewer, which is really beneficial, and most organizations do not have this. What this means is, is you can take the entire archive, you can do a search, and then you can take that archive and and put it onto a jump drive or a, or a CD or a disc and hand it off to another organization, such as your legal organization. So from there, um, uh, as I was saying, basically the best part about uh, the access is we provide organizations with multiple ways to access the archive at any time um, and, and to make it easier for both end users and uh, your administrators. Also, we have intelligent archiving. Um, basically, what's great about that is that we do offer an opportunity for you to have a Google-like search. So you can basically see in a little bit in that, in that image above is that uh, when you do a search, it will be where, similar to Google, it will make some suggestions that will pop up. And then similar searches or similar search terms will be able to pop up and you can select which search terms you want. Also, it means that if I decide to search on a specific person's name um, or a specific uh, maybe code word that we have that we need to be protecting, 
you can go ahead and search on that and do an entire search to see who's discussing a specific word or what's being said, or you can search specifically on a specific person and it will show every type of communication from that person, from their email, their mobile or social media communication. So uh, the intelligent archiving is, is a great beneficial feature that a lot of organizations do not have um, that we offer actually built in. So in with that, we have the built in e-discovery tools. This is a key element of our product. With that, you can do redaction, um, which means that if you need to look at some information that needs to be completely redacted uh, and then forwarded off uh, for legal discovery purposes, that's, that's very possible. Plus, we have additional le legal and e-discovery tools that, again, are all built in. Most of the organizations have a separate piece, but we have it built in so that you can search, do that e-discovery, do case assessment, do whatever you need to do, and then hand that off to whatever department or legal firm or whatever needs to happen. Also, we have smart and confidential rule-based tagging. So if you need to go in and tag specific messages, you can, we have smart tagging. Uh, separate from confidential tagging and then rule-based tagging. So between all three of those items, you have an opportunity to go in and tag things the way you'd like um, and then put parameters in and around those tagging tools. So um, those are the basic key six features um, that we talked about that, that Retain offers that is separate from or different from uh, the rest of the other organizations that are utilizing archiving solutions. Um, but there is a lot more. And I would highly encourage you to take some time to join one of our other webinars uh, that is specific to going into details about Retain and, and its specific um, archiving features and functionality. But um, one of the key things that we do wanna point out is that Retain is a multi-platform mixed environment um, archiving solution that provides organizations around the world an opportunity to inexpensively bring in any type of mobile communication data and search that data, perform e-discovery on that data, and then forward that out to whomever needs to have a piece of that. Um, you know, some of the key success stories uh, that we could say is that one organization, um, a major organization that has been under a lot of uh, litigation scrutiny and uh, under a lot of press, um, was a police department um, on the East Coast um, who actually was just in the news just a few days ago. Um, the Department of Justice came to them and said, we need to have emails and all emails for the last seven years uh, delivered to us within the next um, few weeks. And uh, we need it now. So of course that department happens to be one of our customers and what they were able to do was quickly assemble all the emails from those individuals put it together into one specific uh, location, uh, one specific device, and then hand it off to the Department of Justice very quickly without having to worry about um, losing data or um, missing data, or in the case of, you know, sometimes when you have PST files uh, and not the actual archive, you know, data proof um, and data consistency can be taken away. So in this particular case with Retain, they were able to quickly do that. Um, we have so many other success stories and, and, and uh, ideas from different customers that have come in of how we have worked with them. We're more than happy to send a lot of those off to you um, and interact with you in any way possible to help you understand a little bit more about Retain. But again, I highly, like, highly recommend that you attend one of our other webinars. Um, as a follow-up to this webinar, we'll go ahead and send you um, some information on our next upcoming webinar, in addition to the analyst reports that we've talked about today. Um, so right now, I guess we'll just open it up to any questions you might have. So uh, the question that came through is, how does Retain get the information into the archive? You keep talking about searching your archive. So just a question about integration with the different platforms. Um, so basically, Retain is a server-based product that, uh, or server-based software that has special connectors that go to whatever email platform or messaging platform that you currently have. So um, from there, it connects to the Exchange server or the Office 365 or GroupWise, 
and it will go and pull all based upon whatever based upon whatever parameters are set, it will go and pull all the information from those separate archives and bring it into the retained server. And again, it will look like a typical email client, which enables you to search it. Um, it from there, it also can bring in your social or your mobile. Um, again, this is all connectors that come, that go from the retain archive that go and pull that information from whatever messaging platform you have, bring it into the archive. And then from there, again, you can do the search and e-discovery tools. Great. There was one, one question I just see um, that how do you handle uh, mobile when it comes to BYOD? Um, in that particular case, then uh, each individual device um, will be, there will be an app that will be placed on the each individual, individual device when it's deployed. And then the data from that device will be syncing back to the retained server. Let's see. I did see another question in here. Um, you mentioned archive file shares. Once you archive on a file share, does it leave a stub on the archive file? So um, I can I can field that one. Um, so the question. So really, when it comes to archiving, so we'd archive the email message and then any files that are attached to those. Um, and what it does is, is retain archives using single instance storage. So it's going to store that once, that file. And it works as the same for the email or the message that's being archived. It's going to archive that once. And then you're going to have pointers that go back to that. So when you do a search, you'll be able to see the multiple instances of it. But um, that file is only, only going to be stored once. And then it's, you can be able to access that. And it's pointed back to that. Um, when it comes to files themselves, we can we can tie to a file system like an ECM or a SharePoint to be able to do a search, but we don't actually archive the files. Um, um, we, we focus on communication data. And also one thing that's also great about the retained archive is that uh, if there is multiple emails sent out, say there was an email blast that was sent out to, you know, 50,000 people or, you know, every single person in your organization. Uh, the best thing about Retain is it stores only one instance of that email. So it actually helps to reduce your server storage. Uh, in addition to that, a lot of other organizations utilize the Retain server to, to actually pull the load off of their current email servers. Uh, so we've seen that in many organizations where they just absolutely love the fact that they can pull that in. So their, their actual email performance on their current email systems is much faster and then uh, having it on the retain archives helps them to reduce your, actually the server volumes as well and preserve their current investment um, exponentially. Absolutely. Good questions. Thanks everyone for participating here. I think that is all the questions um, that we have for now. Um, thanks everyone for participating and thanks Christina for the information. Um, I think this is this is great information and I hope you can all see uh, the importance of archiving in your organization, how Retain can help and uh, yeah, what the analysts are saying about this uh, about this market. Thanks again.